Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. So today we take another look at the count. Hasn't moved much since yesterday's video. Just want to confirm that um, we have a WXY here now. So with this overshooting wave, I don't, you know, I don't trust it that necessarily the wave one was already in up here. It could be, it could be, but the move is just not clear enough in terms of having um, yeah, very clear five wave structure. It looks more like a three wave structure. You could get away with counting it as a five wave move. And then we would say, okay, wave four was finished here. Wave five was finished here. We talked about that before. Um, but until I see evidence, I won't have it like that. Mm, also, I believe other coins, including Bitcoin Ethereum, but many others are currently still putting in their wave four. Now it will be very interesting because there are some coins like Mana where I think it's already in a wave two but they could just do a larger ABC. So it's it's very interesting. Let's see what they do. Um, not all coins need to move together exactly. So therefore, you know, I don't need to necessarily align it all together. But with Bitcoin Ethereum, I think they also put their way fours in uh, currently. They, they are doing it at the moment. Don't think they're finished yet. And then there should be another way five to the upside. So here um, we have this WXY pattern. Let me move that back to the top. And this C wave within the Y wave could technically be finished. And then we would say that we had here a wave one to the upside so that we would say, okay, wave C, wave C is in here. Yeah. If we look at an ideal target for the um, C wave, Normally, you would be looking at least at the one-to-one -one ratio that's at 31.75 cents. That's the ideal target. Now, we haven't even reached that. We have reached, though, the 61.8 extension. That's the absolute minimum for a wave C. Um, you don't see it very often. So primarily, I have to expect this is going to continue. And then below that, we've got another target at the 1.618 extension at 29.37 cents. If it is in already, which of course, you know, I don't know, but currently I don't think it is. I don't trust it yet. I think this will come down a bit lower, my opinion, from how it looks like. Now, again, I could be wrong. This could be a wave one up, a wave two down, and we could now rally in the third wave. We won't really know until we take the B wave out. That would be a strong indication. Yeah, if we take that B wave out and we rally impulsively above the B wave, then I have to say we've started wave five. This, however, hasn't come down low enough. Yes, we have touched this support area, or not not quite touched, but we've come down very close, so we are close to support. But looking at it, and um, yeah, if I zoom in a little bit, of course, this could be a one, this could be a two, but then again here, yeah, it could be a leading diagonal, but just not reliable, and also the move down. Let's see how far the move down came back. Yeah, to the 88.7% FIP level, a bit like ETH yesterday. You don't, you, I don't, I just don't trust moves that come back to the 88.7. Yeah, I just don't trust it. And from experience, 90% of coins that do it, that are doing that, that create a wave two down at the 88.7 instead of the 78.6 FIP level, 90% fail. Now it could be that this is one of the 10% of situations where it goes okay. And we can already see a bit of a rally here bit of a green candle, certainly noteworthy. Then we would need to first rally above 34.08 for initial confirmation. We might, might be doing in this video, but then we will get further confirmation as we rally through the B wave. Now saying that with the 88.7% FIP, I mean, this is the 15 minute chart, so you see all sorts of funny stuff, but um, yeah, we again, you don't really know until you rally through the B wave, because this could be something like you know, wave one down and we might just be doing an A, B, C wave to the upside and then we'll still come down. So we need to observe it. Um, I certainly have no evidence that the low is in. I'm still skeptical about that. I gave you the key levels that we need to break out above. Maybe one more thing. What would be a target for this fifth wave to the upside if we have bottomed here already? Then... Um, I'm giving you a target in that I men measure the length of the third wave and we attach that to the low of the fourth. 
Then we get to the region, that's the target area between 38.7 and 42.6 cents. That will be the next decision area. Okay, that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.